course two, we are in lesson 13 today. And if you would turn to page 88, you will see this lesson problems about equal groups. And basically, uh, this is a simple equation and it's represented by number of groups and we're gonna represent that as an N times how many are in that group, like individuals, equals total, okay? Not too difficult as far as the understanding, okay? Number of groups times numbers in the group equals the total. All right, so example one on page 88 says, Juanita packed 25 marbles in each box. So I'm gonna draw a box here, and I'm just gonna put the number 25 and indicate that um, what she did. So she had 32 boxes, okay? And I'm not gonna draw all 32 boxes, so I'm just gonna put boxes, okay? So how many marbles did she pack? Well, we know that 25 went into every box and we know that she had 32 boxes. So literally, that's gonna give us the total. So 25 times 32, and whatever this answer is, whoop, gives us the total, all right? So that's not too difficult to figure out, okay? So simple idea here, as far as that's concerned. Let's go to example two, dealing with movie tickets, all right? Example two says, movie tickets were $8 each. And I don't know what it costs to go to a movie, but $8 seems a lot to me. Okay, so the total ticket sales was $960, okay? If the total was 960, we don't know what each or the group costs or how many tickets were sold, individual tickets were sold. So we wanna know what that is. In fact, they show it like this. We do know that individual tickets, so let me, let me go back to the N uh, plus or times, excuse me, times, G equals total. So we don't know what this group is. We do know what individuals are. They were $8. And we do know the total was $960. So how many groups did we have? All right, well, this is a pretty easy answer too. We're just gonna take A and divide it into 960 and come up with our answer, okay? And we can do that pretty easily so we know that we have 120 groups or 120 um, tickets that uh, were sold there. All right, 120 at $8 a piece gives us 960 bucks. All right, so those are pretty easy to understand. Example three, um, similar idea here. And um, let's read this. So on the bottom of page 89, it says 600 new cars were delivered to the dealer by 40 different trucks. So here you have 600 cars that were literally on the semis, right? I'm gonna draw a terrible car. That was a bad car. Anyway, it's on the big semi, okay? <laughs> There's the semi truck, all his wheels. Okay, so anyway, 600 of these babies, and we had 40 trucks. All right, so how many cars were delivered by each truck? Well, we have 600 cars and we have 40 trucks. Again, that's gonna be a pretty simple um, division problem. So we know that um, we've got Oops, excuse me, let's go five, because we want 20. Uh, I'm gonna suggest 15, right? Four times 20 is, or excuse me, five times four is 20. So we have 15 trucks, or 15 vehicles on each truck. And you've seen those trucks before. 15 is probably maxed out, but legitimately, um, that's what happens. So uh, car dealerships, 600 car order, that's a lot of trucks. Okay, um, that's the kind of lesson that you're gonna learn today as far as um, number in groups 
times individuals equals the total. Okay, and I think you understand this equation pretty well. All right, that is your lesson today. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And uh, hopefully you do well on your lesson.